This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now at Gould West Supercharger, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to park your BMW. So, uh, this supercharger location is not open for uh, all the cars, but uh, it's a very good example of how uh, we, have, we have two different layouts here, so that's why I chose this one. So, let me show you now. Normally, Tesla will be uh, parked like this because you see here we have a uh, stall number on this side, but you see that we actually don't have stall number on that side because Teslas they have been designed to have the charge port on, on the left side. All the different Teslas, Model S, Model X, Model Y, they have charge port on this side. So, actually, in this scenario, ch having charge port on the left side is the right side, and the wrong, the wrong side is the right side. So we don't care about how it is uh, for street parking, but for supercharger parking, having it on the left side is actually the correct side. Uh, and I can show you here that, you see, it's supposed to be like this, but how the heck do you plug in your uh, BMW or your Deutsche Auto then? So you see, most naturally for, for uh, Beamer boys, they would just plug in like this, no problem, right? Well, right now, it doesn't become a problem. But, and also actually on this side, it's not a big problem. But if this would be Nebenes, uh, you will probably get some pissed uh, Tesla owners if you do it like this. Why, what is, why is this a problem? Well, because the, a Tesla, I mean, if you use this stall, you're supposed to be here. Because right now you're actually blocking, uh, you're blocking this, this one here. You see? <laughs> so, I actually just plug it in now for illustration. Wait, can I unplug? I can unplug, right? Let me just check here. Oh shit, I'm stuck! Scheiße, I'm stuck! How do, how, do, how do I unplug it? Lock? Unlock? Um, I hope I can get it out. Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. In case... In case you try this <laughs> on a non-site, then you, just, you actually have to use this button here to get it off again. Because I actually tried it from the car side and it didn't work. But fortunately, from the charger side, it does work. Okay, we move the car once more. And uh, believe it or not, this is what you should do. It, it looks so weird. Yes, um, uh, charge port with the... I mean, cars with the charge port on the wrong side should park like this. And I will explain why. Because now you're using the stall you're supposed to use if you park on this side. So you're not blocking for this location here, which is for a Tesla facing this way. Uh, except for that, you're not really in the spot you're supposed to be, but there's no way we can get around this. Uh, I guess, however, yeah, there is a little bit more you can stretch the cable. So what you should do is try to park your uh, Deutsche Auto as far back here as possible because now we're actually eating some space here but again in this location no problem I should show you at Nebenes instead but you get the idea so uh, yes at least with this location uh, with, with this layout you should park like this and many uh, supercharger locations they have this layout where you back up into the charger at least if you have the charge port towards the, uh, the back side of the car I uh, actually don't know how the heck you're supposed to do this with a fat e-tron. That would be another e episode, I guess. But you see, no problem, right? Again, the charge port is on the wrong side, which is the right side, over here. You just plug it in, no problemo. Well, until we start studying how Teslas are parked. You see, whoa, whoa, whoa Tesla there is uh, smoking. <laughs> no, but you look at that Tesla. It has a charge port. So, actually, it means that if a car, if a Tesla would be parked here, it would use that stall. And now we are taking that one, which means that uh, we are blocking the spot. The, the, okay, I'm gonna show you. I think you have to refer to numbers. So this one is 4B. So right now the Bimmer is blocking for 4B by taking the, which one is this? Uh, well, there's actually no markings here, but it's taking this one. So we are blocking for that one. So how, how do we do this? Okay, so watch and learn. This is what you should do as a Beamer driver. You should park like this. It looks really strange. See? <laughs> because most other cars will be parking like this. 
but then you have to park like this uh, but it only works for this last stall here and also what you should do is in this case you don't want to park too much that way you want to park as far as possible that way without stretching the cable too much and you also want to park as close as possible towards this stall because you see we are already semi stretching the cable and why do we have to park like this and why do you have to face like this well simply because of physics you can't you can't face it this way but by facing that way like this you will then not block this one because remember that a Tesla that wants to charge on this stall needs to be parked here and then the Tesla that's supposed to be on this stall you can even see the tracks here was supposed to park here so by parking like this you will not cause any problems for all the other uh, Teslas over here so uh, how do we do it on other locations other sides um, this one is an exception you, you know for every location you actually have to start looking and you will find some hidden gems okay this one is a bit weird uh, you don't find this many places but again um, some sites they they have a standard i mean it deviates a little bit from the standard and here i can show you that i don't know if you noticed but uh, because they spread them out a little bit then some stalls have extra space between them and we can actually utilize that maybe i'm not sure you see here I would plug in here except that I didn't actually back up far enough so the cable doesn't reach there but you see uh, this would work because now we are not blocking for wait, wait a minute except for that this guy shouldn't be parking like this you see how <laughs> okay even even Tesla people can't get it right the, the, you, you shouldn't do it like this because you're stretching the cable boy <laughs> so actually this Tesla should be parked slightly more that way and then this Tesla would be parked. Yeah, you can see the track. This Tesla would be parked here anyway. So this Tesla should actually be parked slightly more this way. And actually under normal circumstances, it means that this Tesla would not take up so much space. So there would be a place for another Tesla that would be charging on that stall. And then what about on this side then? Well, uh, it just happened to be that this charger seems to be, uh, is it kaput? Uh, no, I think it's just a socket, but I'm not sure if it's a kaput or not, but there should be even space for another Tesla here. And then of course we already have one Tesla here. So you see, there are some exceptions that you just have to figure out and then maybe it will work out for you. But I think actually as a BMW driver, you have to give up trying to use the stall on the end here. It's simply not possible. Uh, you will be blocking some other stalls or you have to be on the walk path here and then, then don't do that. So. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the way to go. <laughs> okay, so now you guys have seen it, at least for uh, BMW, uh, which is very common for many German cars that they have a chart port on that side. So it would be interesting. Do you guys want to see it? We should try to do this same video with Fat Etron. How the heck is a Fat Etron supposed to plug it in? <laughs> it's too fat. Yeah, <laughs> but okay. I hope this was, video was useful and that, that it's actually viewed by people who don't have Tesla. Because by the end of the day, we want to utilize all the stalls. It's beneficial for everyone. And we just have to park the way so that we don't block for other stalls. But as you guys have seen, even Tesla people can't get it right. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.